In today's video, we're gonna kind of cover something that we've covered already in the past, but I'm kind of going to restate things and share some new fresh information as well to kind of try and clear these things up. I see these comments all the time that Duo 2 is discontinued, it's dead, and that the Duo line itself is canceled or dead. And I'm gonna kind of push back on this with, like I said, some information and a new report from Windows Central to kind of back this up. And as usual, I've organized this in a thread on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at scary if literal to, to potentially see this stuff before it makes it into a video form. So started off by saying, have you noticed the Surface Duo 2 is totally out of stock pretty much everywhere? So is Microsoft and now they've issued a short statement on the matter. And as usual, Zach from Windows Central has the reporting on this. I will encourage you to go read the full article because it is definitely worth a read. But if I'm going to give you the TLDR, the too long, didn't read version, basically Microsoft knows Duo 2 is out of stock. They know that that is impacting people's ability to buy the device. And it's also affecting some other things downstream, which we'll talk about here in a minute. They have nothing else to say about what's going on there, why this is necessarily happening, which they've already spoken prior. So they're not adding anything additional to that. Uh, story, let's say, and that Duo remains an important part of the Surface lineup. Now, the stuff downstream I was hinting at a moment ago is basically this stuff here. There are numerous reports from users online that Microsoft might not even have enough Duo 2s in stock to do warranty exchanges with any sort of speed, and in some instances, they're actually offering people a refund for their device. So someone has a Duo 2, it, something's wrong with it, they send it off for warranty, and Microsoft is telling people, we don't even have one to send back to you, we will just give you your money money back instead if you want to go that route. And I've attached some screenshots here from some Reddit threads which show exactly this here. 96 Bulls 2K uh, says he was offered a refund. This user here, W-O-I-R-O-L, said he just got his replacement back, but it did take almost a full month to do that. Here's another user, Knight-N-I. Similar things going on. Longer than normal fulfillment time for your service order, so you may experience a delay. They're waiting and waiting to find out what's going on with their warranty. And here's another person that did this almost a year ago, and it took over a month because of supply chain issues. And we're going to to talk more about supply chain issues because I think this is a pretty underappreciated aspect of what's going on here. Microsoft had already put out a statement, I believe all the way back in September, again via Windows Central and Zach's reporting, and this was the statement. We are experiencing supply constraints that are impacting stock of Surface Duo 2 units. The product is not being discontinued. We continue to update and to innovate on this form factor, which to me very clearly hints that they're making a Duo 3 and are excited by customer interest. So, all the way back in September, they told us supply chain issues are impacting our ability to restock this device. Now, despite them telling us this then and sort of saying something similar just the other day, there are still a lot of people that will take this information, they'll take kind of the view of the land and they'll say Duo 2 is clearly canceled and Duo 3 is also therefore not coming. It, it never ceases to boggle and amaze the way that people can look at reporting people that have insider information, people that, that do this for a living, and they can dismiss that information and say, well, my gut tells me something else is going on, and I'm going to trust my gut over your reporting. Let's kind of dive into some of the factors, though, at play here. First off, Duo 2 was being sold, last it was being sold, for $999. Now, a lot of people look at that and say, well, that's still a very expensive phone, but I think you're underestimating, if you feel that way, how expensive Surface Duo 2 is to actually manufacture. Look at this image here. Everything about Surface Duo not everything. The vast majority of things in Surface Duo are custom made. The screens in particular are custom cut. Have you seen any other phones with screens that are this shape, size, aspect ratio? No, you have not. That is because there aren't any. Microsoft is having these screens custom cut, custom made. That is extremely expensive. What about the PCB and all these things? Look at all these boards that they're having to deal with. This is all stuff that is very, very expensive to custom make. Duo 2 is a very expensive device to manufacture, and therefore, selling it at $9.99 leaves probably Microsoft very, very little profit, if any at all. You also have to consider how small the amount of Duo 2s they probably manufactured was. Duo 1, let's be honest, 
they made way too many of them. What is my evidence of this? The fact that you can still buy them for $300, $400 easily. That's been going on for like two, over two years at this point. And you can still find them. Microsoft made way too many Surface Duo 1s with Duo 2. They were clearly much more conservative. They had a much smaller order. Now, if you don't know how this stuff works, when you're talking about manufacturing, the more of something you order to be produced, the cheaper they become, typically. The cheaper they become per item, right? So with Duo 2, smaller order. That's also working against Duo 2's price, not just at launch, but also now. Because what that's going to do is it's going to make it almost impossible to do a small restock. Let's be reasonable here. How many more Duo 2's do they need? We're not talking about tens of thousands, right? We're talking about thousands. So is Microsoft going to go to a factory and order a thousand, two thousand more Surface Duos be made? when doing that is going to mean that the price to manufacture these devices is going to be ridiculously high. You also have to factor in the factories a lot of the time actually have a minimum order that Microsoft probably isn't going to meet with something that small. So are they to order more than they need and just lose even more money? No, of course they're not. And you may be saying, now Shane, uh, Apple's had no problems keeping their stuff in stock. And yes, the reason is because of something called scale. Apple sells way more iPhones. They're ordering way more iPhones at a much larger scale and a much higher profit margin. Duo is a niche product ordered in small amounts, which makes things already difficult if there hadn't been a global pandemic leading to supply chain issues, which there was and there are. So that's kind of where we are in terms of why Duo 2 just isn't feasible to be restocked right now. It would be wildly unprofitable for Microsoft to do this. But there's even more because the reporting and the things I've heard as well tell us that Duo 3 is likely coming sometime around this fall with a radically new design, likely moving to a single folding OLED to screen as you can see in my little mock-up image there. Does it make any sense for Microsoft to plow through all of these hurdles to plow through the problems of the unprofitable nature it would be to do all of these things with Duo 3 on the horizon, likely with a very different design than Duo 2. Their new product is coming. This device now is quite old. How many people are looking at How big of a problem really is this? No, we have to ask yourself, does that make any sense? The answer is no, it, it really doesn't. So at the end of the day, is Surface Duo 2 discontinued? What do you call a device that is out of stock, but not because the company wouldn't like to make more, but because it makes very little sense practically and financially? That, whatever that would be, is what Surface Duo 2 is. Now, I know people have very strong feelings and opinions on this. There's a lot of you that would probably look at this and go, I don't care what the financial ramifications are. They should make more of them because there's demand for them, or they should make more of them because they're not able to actually hold up their end of the bargain when it comes to a warranty. And I can totally understand that side of it, but hopefully this at least kind of gives you some clarity onto what's going on and why the things that you see happening are in fact happening. I'm not making any sort of judgment call on the ethical nature of this, what they should or shouldn't be doing. I'm just telling you, this is from the business perspective, what they're probably thinking of what's going on. You have to ask yourself from that perspective, how much sense does it make? We're talking about a device that again, can't stress enough, I love, but it is very much a niche product and it is a teeny tiny, itsy weensy little piece of their service business at current that they would love to see grow a bit further with Duo 3. But for right now, it's just not a massive priority for them. So that's probably where we are today. Guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on more content like this. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.